So it's looking like the 1070 Ti is the most efficient mining GPU ever. So we finally got our 1070 Ti's in. Technically they're crypto chicks, but she's not here today, so they're looking like mine. The plan is to build a six card with them. We took a shot in the dark, we ordered them on the pre-order, hoping they'd be good. Rumor was that they kind of weren't gonna be, so you know, who knows, let's find out. In the meantime, I was reading things on the forum and I came across uh, Quinn Leo's post on a 1070 Ti mining thread. And in that thread, he posted some really good results. He got the 1070 Ti a couple days ago. And uh, quite honestly, he freaking nailed it with uh, his main efficiency setting. 60 TDP, 200 core, 700 memory, and you're not gonna believe this, 500 souls on DSTM's Equihash Miner. 500 souls! This thing's pulling like maybe 100 to 110 watts. It equals out to 4.7 souls per watt. Blowing my 1080 Ti ratio is normally somewhere around 3.5 out of the water. So as with everything else, it depends on you and your goals. With this 1070 Ti, you can get this for around $450, depending on which model. The one we're using today costs $500 per card, but it's got the same specs as the cheaper ones. So on this ultra efficient setting, it's pulling over 31 mega hash per second on F, and then also 500 souls on Equihash. That's insane. That is just simply insane. You know, I haven't played around too much with the settings, but I took uh, these base stats that I got from Quentin Leo off the Bitcoin Talk forum, um, you know, up and down a little bit, and it wasn't really helping, a little bit negative towards the output. So I think you really nailed it, and I'm not gonna mess with these all day if I've already got a rock star number. And I mean, couldn't be happier with these cards. You know, I think people really overlook these, and depending on what your goals are, this is the best card to have in your house for mining. If you know you just have a couple rigs in the house, this could not be a better card. It's very affordable, you know, dominates, super efficient, because if you're paying residential electric, well, like me, your electric's gonna be uh, kinda high or expensive eventually, and uh, this really cuts down on that. The heat output is like nothing. Running these cards, compared to running my 1080 Ti's on the most efficient settings for both, was like having a space heater and just a fan on. Crazy. I couldn't be more excited about these cards. I'm gonna try to pick up some of the EVGA SC versions, like the, it kinda looks like this EVGA card we had today, but black, and uh, you know, make a, my own six card out of that. I also think when people realize how sweet that these cards are, they're gonna disappear fast. They're already kinda backlogged a couple days, you order now, it'll ship in a couple days. So my advice to you, if you're interested in this, definitely pick them up. If you're looking for efficiency, if your electric rate isn't like dirt cheap, and if you want low heat, you know, you want to cut the heat down in your farm, in your house, whatever, these are going to be your go-to cards. It's performing well on every algorithm, and NiceHash pegged uh, Lyra to be the most profitable algorithm for it. So, you know, again, your miles may vary, mine whatever you want to, but it's cool that we have the options that this isn't just good on Equihash. Granted, it seems like it's the best there, but it's pretty rock solid on uh, Lyra too. So again, you know, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to mine, make it happen. All right guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Just a quick update on why the 1070 Ti rocks and why you should get one before they're sold out. Also, if you're gonna order, please uh, try to use my links in the description below. Really appreciate when you guys do that. Amazon actually has one of the best limit orders out there with three per card. So grab three, you know, maybe have your buddy order three, pay him, you know what I mean? Something like that. Just kidding. That would be abusing the system now, wouldn't it? But then again, you kind of need six cards for your six card rig if you're building one, don't you? So, I don't know. You know, you gotta do whatever you gotta do. All right, so make sure to subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our crazy crypto adventures, including the upcoming 1070 Ti build, which there might be more than one. Maybe we'll go big and build some kind of crazy 15, 16, whatever GPU build with that because of such low power usage. I don't know, stay tuned. We've got all kinds of crazy plans in the work. With that said guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.